<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to that part of the evening um, where we make our special award in the gift of this academy, our Life Achievement Award in recognition of outstanding services to comedy. This, uh, this fellowship, in our exclusive gift, honors an individual who, in the, in the opinion of the Academy, has used his skill and judgment in an apt and entertaining and original way. Uh, the award, of course, is named after Dick Emery. <laughs> Past winners of the Silver Dick um, <laughs> include the wild punster, uh, Mr. Richard Whiteley, the uh, presenter of TV's cult program, Countdown, um, <laughs> Mr. Gus, right to reply, McDonald, uh, and the woman who does the shake and vac commercial. <laughs> how, how can we describe, in just a, in just a few words, uh, the winner of this most prestigious of awards? A man whose humanity shines through absolutely everything he does. Uh, certainly a very great personal hero of ours. One of the most lovely, fluffy, pink, moist, and super people in show business. <laughs> I think I can speak for all of us here when I say that I'm desperate to develop a close sexual relationship with this man. <laughs> this, this thrillingly lovely elder statesman of comedy, for heaven's sake, you all know who we're talking about now. Um, he had his own TV show which ran for, I think, 12 whole programmes before being taken off. Yes, which was a mistake, I think. I think it was a mistake. Yes, but... they shouldn't have done that. Nonetheless, with no further ado, let's announce him the winner of this year's Silver Dick Ladies and gentlemen, the shudderingly gorgeous, Mr. Jim Cleese. <laughs> Jim, Jim, I want to go to bed with you. Oh, Jim, Jim Cleese. Let's talk about you now. Uh, they took your highly entertaining, uh, heartwarming comedy classic, Faulty Towers, off the air after only two series. Well, what was that about? Hmm? It, was, it was really beginning to get good, Jim. I thought so. You know, it had the makings of something. Y yes, but there were, in fact, only ever supposed to be the 12 episodes. And the 12 were fine, Jim. You know, there was lots in there, which I thought eventually maybe some may, may have turned into something. I yes. You know, one minute you're a rising star and then some TV executive decides to make you a nobody with a flick of his pen. Just cuts you off. You know, it was well, around I, that I, I time... Don't think that, 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 that... It was around that time, wasn't it, Jim, when you were in the middle of rather a messy divorce with what? the woman who was <laughs> chiefly responsible for writing your scripts. Mm. And it was from then on that things started really to go wrong for you, isn't it? <laughs> and now they tell me Michael Barrymore doesn't even bother to do you anymore. Mm. You know, uh, uh, do you feel bitter? You know? Regrets? No, no. Oh, uh, surely just a few, Jim. No, no. Jim, um, I, 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 I hate to see a very old man cry. I mean, <laughs> you know, we still love you. We want to see you come oh, back. Oh, yes. I'm sure I speak for the ladies and gentlemen. I say we'd like to see more of his amicable hotelier, wouldn't we? Yes. Yes. But, yes. Thank you you see, I, Jim, I don't, plenty don't of people remember you. We all want to see Basil Brush back on television. It's not Basil Brush. Oh, the the Jim. Jim, okay. dry those eyes and tell a few warming well, thoughts to some of your public. I, I would just like what to say... What was it that finally <laughs> finished you off, Jim? I do was not... It, what, was it the hair weave? <laughs> or was it the move to the STP? Which was it, do you think? Was it growing that rather odd beard, I wonder? Or perhaps it could have been those strange, you know, psychiatric group therapy <laughs> sessions. <laughs> Did you find, Jim, that once you stop being mad, you stop being funny? <laughs> you know? And then, of course, then, of course, you let down Amnesty by refusing to do their annual charity show. <laughs> Until, of course, you caved in at the last minute because the press kept ringing you up. <laughs> Look, he's got nothing to say for himself. Without his dead parrot, he's nobody. <laughs> it's tragic. This is the wreck of a once noble comedian. He's a nothing and nobody. Get off stage, Jim. Go on. Get off. Finished, Get on. off. Oh, Jim. 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 Don't forget your silver dick. Jim. There you are. There you are. 